Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that the voters' lists are not clean. They haven't been sanitized in quite some time. And the reasons being that, number one, they're bloated. There are a lot of, unfortunately, deceased individuals who remain on the list. Secondly, there are a large number of individuals who don't actually reside in the area in which they are registered. And thirdly, we have seen over the years from successive administrations what I refer to as gerrymandering of the, the districts, the constituencies. That's nothing new, but all the same, it does not bode well with regards to good governance practices and principles. Now, we all know that constitutionally, the next election should be called by 2017. And amid the current political milieu situation that we face, well, you never know. The prime minister um, holds the responsibility and has the ability to call elections whenever he so chooses. In keeping with that reality, we are making this plea that um, a redistricting and re-registration process take place. Our call is to the relevant authorities to be proactive. The bottom line is this. If you are talking the talk of good governance, principles and practices, put your money where your mouth is. If you want to exude or display that which is uh, in line with those basic tenets, then do the redistricting and the re-registration because it will ensure that the lists are in order and we could move forward with a clean and clear list in a democratic process.